don't know about you guys, but I am terrified that I'm being secretly recorded and that the footage is being uploaded to the dark web for creeps to see. Ugh. Well, anyway. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. I'm your host Emily, and today we'll be counting down our list of the top 10 scary times people didn't realize they were being recorded. So if you haven't already, put some tape on your webcam and let's get into the video. Number 10, admitting to a crime. Robert Allen Durst gained attention as a suspect in the unsolved 1982 disappearance of his first wife Kathleen McCormick and the 2001 death of his neighbor Morris Black. Acquitted of ending Morris's life in 2003, Robert did not face significant further legal action until his participation in the 2015 documentary miniseries The Jinx, which led to him being charged with Susan's death. After his interview for the show, he took a bathroom break. His mic was still on, which he didn't know. In the bathroom, he said to himself, there it is, you're caught, you're right of course, oh I want this, killed them all, of course, I want to do something new, there's nothing new about that, what a disaster, he was right, I was wrong, what the hell did I do? Due to this, he was convicted of the death in 2021 and was sentenced to life in prison without parole. He was charged with Kathleen's disappearance shortly after his sentencing, but died in 2022 before a trial could begin. Now it's scary that he lied all this time, and I also can't imagine what the sound guy did when he heard this confession, because that is crazy. Number 9. Alexa Oh, Alexa. An Alexa speaker like the Echo or Dot is an always on listening device. Yep, it hears everything. Although it's designed to only listen when people call upon, sometimes it doesn't play by its own rules. The device can hear everything you say within range of its far field microphones as it listens for its wake word before it actually starts recording anything. But in 2018, Amazon was forced to explain how Alexa recorded a private conversation and sent it to an Echo user's colleague without their knowledge. A Portland woman identified only as Danielle revealed the odd series of events in an interview, claiming that an Amazon Echo device recorded a private conversation between her and her husband and then sent the recording to an employee of the husband. An Amazon spokesperson confirmed that this incident took place, but it appears that it was unusual series of Alexa mistaking conversation as commands rather than Alexa spying on its users, but I'm not too sure. Number 8. The Hotel A woman came to Texas for what she believed was a legitimate job interview with an IT service provider, but instead she found herself being recorded in a hotel room booked for her by the man claiming to be the potential employer CEO. The woman said that the man booked the room for the night and he checked in before her arrival. She suspects that's when he put a video camera disguised as a clock in the room. After she was in the room and had started getting undressed to get ready for the interview later that day, she said two men walked into the room unannounced. The men told her they thought the room was vacant and left almost immediately but wouldn't tell the woman why they were there, she said. There was just a gut instinct that something wasn't right, I just knew I was being watched, she said. After looking around the room, the woman noticed the digital alarm clock had a quarter sized camera in the face. She unplugged it and took the back off and minutes later she got a call from the supposed CEO asking her if everything was okay. She told the front desk and the hotel staff moved her belongings into a new room and the woman called the police. She didn't hear from the man again and said when the police tried that same day calling the number he had given her, it had been disconnected. The woman is now suing the man for intruding on her privacy and causing months of mental anguish, according to the lawsuit, and honestly, I hope she wins. Number 7. Change Room this one is just gross and creepy. A young woman was trying on clothes in a dressing room at the Mission Mart store in Halifax in August 2021 when she caught a glimpse in the mirror of a cell phone. The phone's camera appeared to be pointed into her change room from under the adjacent stall. The woman grabbed the phone and yelled. She got dressed and ran out of the stall where she encountered Connor Martin, a young man working there who claimed he had dropped his cell phone. 
Police were called to the store and seized Connor's phone, and a video of the woman changing was located on the device. Further examination of the phone revealed 70 more video clips showing 31 other women being secretly recorded without their consent over the previous 15 days. 22 of the other victims were using a change room when they were recorded. Connor also pointed his cell phone up the skirts or dresses of nine other women while they were shopping in the store. Connor confessed to the police after he was arrested, and he said he tried to delete the videos the day he was caught and had not uploaded them to the internet or sent them to anyone, but honestly, I don't believe him. Number 6 Webcam. In 2009, Susan Clements Jeffrey bought a laptop. The laptop, it turned out, had been stolen before she bought it, and it came equipped with Remote Access Tool or RAT. RATs are a software that allows a third party to spy on a computer user from afar, whether rifling through messages and browsing activity, photographing the computer screen, or in many cases, hijacking the webcam and taking photographs of whomever is on the other side. RATs are widely used in a variety of contexts, some benign, others not. Not. Online at places like hackforums.net, individuals, often men, trade and sell access to strangers' computers, often women, gaining via rat. Now, Susan didn't know that her computer was stolen and it had access to her private photos, chat logs, and even had a live video taken of her through the webcam without her knowing. And that's why we put tape on our webcams, people. Number five. The Body Philip Chisholm was a freshman when he ended the life of his math teacher Colleen Ritzer. Colleen was known to go out of her way to help her students with math and had asked Philip to stay after school that one fateful day in October. On the morning of October 22, 2013, the high school's newly installed security camera system showed Philip arriving at school with several bags, which he placed in his locker. Contained within his bags were a box cutter, mask, gloves, and a change of clothing. The school security footage showed Colleen exiting the classroom towards the second floor women's bathroom, and Philip can then be seen walking into the hallway looking that way, then ducking back into the classroom and re emerging with his hood over his head. Following her, Philip pulled on gloves as he entered the same bathroom. In the bathroom, Philip proceeded to rob Colleen of her credit cards, iPhone, and her underwear before taking advantage and stabbing her 16 times in the neck with the box cutter. He then put her body in a recycling bin and left it behind the school. Him following her and having her body in the recycling bin was all all caught on camera and it makes me sick. When police caught him the following morning, Philip had not washed his hands and still had her blood all over them. He was arrested and on February 26, 2016, he was sentenced to serve at least 40 years in prison, which I feel like isn't long enough. Number 4. Airbnb An ex-casino worker shocked the internet after revealing he found a half-hidden camera at the Airbnb he was staying at with his girlfriend. In a post shared on on Reddit, the man explained that he only discovered the camera when it clicked right after he came out of the shower with his girlfriend, saying it is possible it also filmed them while being intimate. He said, I felt super violated, took a bunch of pics of it, unplugged it, reported to Airbnb and got a hotel room instead. A spokesperson for Airbnb was contacted for a right of reply. They said, Airbnb does not allow any concealed and undisclosed devices monitoring common spaces. Any device monitoring a common space should be installed in a visible manner and disclosed in the listing description. They also do not allow adding devices should never monitor private spaces, example bedrooms, bathrooms, or common areas that are being used as sleeping areas, such as a living room with a sofa bed. Disconnected devices are allowed as long as they are turned off and proactively disclosed to guests. In a later update, the poster said the police were called on a non-emergency line, but after over 20 hours of waiting, they still hadn't heard from a detective. In his most recent update, the poster said that the Airbnb has refunded their money and allegedly removed the host from the site forever. An IPX10131 survey of 2,000 Americans who have stayed in an Airbnb conducted in 2019 said 58% of guests said they were worried about hidden cameras and 11% of respondents said they actually discovered a hidden camera in their Airbnb. So safe to say this isn't an outrageous concern. Number 3. Nanny Cam Ellen and Nathan Ringley suddenly woke up to the sound of sexual language
language coming from their young son's room. Ellen said that her immediate reaction was that there's somebody in here, someone's in my son's room. When the couple jumped out of bed and turned the light on, the monitor camera in their room, which was previously turned off, was activated. Someone hacked into it and the hacker, speaking through the camera, told the couple to turn the light off. When they didn't comply, he said, I'm going to kidnap your son, I'm in your son's room. The father ran upstairs to his son's room but found him safe and sound. That's when they realized their cameras had been hacked and the hacker was bluffing. They immediately turned off their Wi-Fi and called the police to report the incident. The family threw out their monitors and now use cameras that don't use Wi-Fi. Next, the monitor manufacturer was also notified about the attack and they told NBC News that such attacks could happen if customers used passwords which were previously leaked due to a data breach. They did not, however, confirm that this had been the cause of this specific attack. The company advised all their customers to change their factory passwords to two-factor authentication and if they notice any suspicious behavior, to contact Nest directly. Number 2. New House A woman was left horrified after discovering two-way mirror and wires hooked up to cameras inside a hidden wall in her new home. Annabelle Mickelson and her family recently moved into their new home in Arizona and they were aware that it had previously been a bit of a party house. But it wasn't until the family noticed that the bathroom mirror was actually attached to the wall that they started to get suspicious. In a viral TikTok clip, Amanda filmed her dad drilling into the wall behind the mirror as they wanted to take matters into their own hands. After discovering some odd cupboards, Amanda and her family also found the cords to all of the cameras which had previously been located around the house. She added, we were right, it was a two-way mirror. In a separate video, Amanda explained how the enormous bathroom mirror had looked out into the living room before the previous owners built a wall in front of it. She said the reason we are certain it's a two-way mirror is because this was a house that was involved in the cartel, I guess you could say. There are cameras that surround the house and we couldn't figure out where the cameras went to. And coming in at number one is covering up a crime. In the early hours of August 13th, 2018, American oil field operator Chris Watts ended the life of his wife and two daughters. He buried his wife in a shallow grave near an oil storage facility and dumped his daughter's bodies into crude oil tanks. Chris initially maintained his innocence in his family's disappearance, but he was arrested on August 15th after confessing to ending the life of his wife in an interview with detectives, and he later admitted to ending the lives of his daughters too. On November 6, 2018, he pleaded guilty to multiple counts of first degree murder as part of a plea deal with the death penalty and was sentenced to five life sentences without the possibility of parole, three to be served consecutively. Now during the investigation, a neighbor showed Chris and police their CCTV footage hoping they could see what happened to his wife and daughters. They watch the footage and you can see Chris back his car into his driveway and he can be seen loading a gas can into the bed of his truck. Next, the video shows Chris backing the vehicle into his home's garage. Investigators believe Chris used that very truck to transport the bodies of his family to a remote oil work site where they were found days later. Prosecutors believe that Chris, after backing the truck into the garage, likely placed the three bodies in the bed before driving them to the oil work site. Now it's terrifying that no one knew this happened and that it was practically all recorded. Well, that's all for our list of the top 10 scary times people didn't realize they were being recorded. Which one on our list creeps you out the most? They all terrify me. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and hey, why not like and subscribe while you're down there. I'm your host Emily and I'll see you next time. Peace.